I'll reiterate, yes, yeah, class bullies. No, you, you, you try to be big and tough, but you're not really. No. Anyway. Yoch, dear Fui Clawith. Um, I'm glad I took on the issue of, of lobbying, because if I hadn't done, I'd still probably be a Plaid Cymru AM. Um, I really admire <laughs> Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in the United States, because she is people-funded and not lobbyist-funded. I remember Carolyn Jones saying that uh, lobbyists had no access to ministers. Now, Carolyn does have a strange relationship with the truth, but in this case, there was no relationship at all. No relationship no, at all, no, because we all know no, that lobbyists I'm, have access to ministers. I've turned your mic off. Can I just say to you, can I just say to you, you can't make accusations like that about a member of this assembly. So if, if you just, if you just keep to the issue about a lobby register, then we won't have any problems. You can carry on. Being treated in a very discriminatory manner no, in this not. chamber. I must state that on the record. We need strong regulation and we need a register. Now, the lobbying firm Derrin was so concerned about the questions that I was asking about them that they got in contact with Plaid Cymru even and told the leadership to pull me into line. And that was confirmed in writing with the complaints that I saw submitted to the party. I remember being summoned by Leanne Wood to her office one time and uh, asked about why was I asking questions about Derrin. And I give way. I give way. Leanne, please. Carry on. No, you carry on. I've just... Uh, Deputy President, can, can I just I've say, just been accused of, being, of, no. of lying. Can I just... What are you going to do about that? Can I just say... Right. Can I just say, it's for me... Well. Now, anybody else? Can I just say, it's for me to decide who takes an intervention or not. So, I haven't indicated that you're to take an intervention, and I suggest you carry on. But you must be careful about what your, the, the content of your speech. Summoned to the leader's office in those days and told in no uncertain terms that I was not, it was not welcome that I was following the agenda that I was following. The Chief Whip just called me a liar, actually. Nothing was said about that a Deputy Presiding Officer. And that was the Chief Whip who called me when I was on holiday, phoned me to ask me about what I was doing, asking questions about Derrin and their relationship with ACT at the time. You followed it up again with a call to me when I was in Belfast, campaigning for the election with Sinn Féin out there, telling me to stop it. Do you remember that? I'm lying. I'm lying, am I? Is that, is that acceptable language, Deputy Presiding Officer? I'm listening, He's I'm called listening me a liar. to your speech. I am, I am listening to your speech. He's called me a liar. I am, I am listening to your speech. I am allowing you to speak in this debate. I suggest you speak, and I have warned you once about the content of your speech. I don't want to have to keep telling you, so just carry on with your speech and I'll make the decision about whether it's right or wrong. On another, on another occasion, my senior advisor told me that Adam Price had said that if we continue to go after Derrin, there would be consequences. And I raised this with Adam, and uh, he denied saying that. What is interesting, though, is uh, 11... <laughs> what is interesting is... I know who I believe, to be frank. But what is interesting is that 11 days after... 11 days after I made public the Ofcom scandal with that lobbying firm. Just 11 days later, I was suspended from the, the Ply Cymru group for the first time. The <laughs> Welsh Government has a budget of £17 billion. And I'm very willing to give way if uh, any member wishes to intervene here. So I'm going to ask a question, because there was a deal done between the Labour Government and Ply Cymru in 2012 and 2013, and it was £20 million for apprenticeships. Now, the deputy chair of Plaid Cymru at that time was a director of a lobbying firm. And I, I, I just a question, really. Did their clients benefit at all from that deal that you did, Leanne Woods? What? Oh, no. This, this industry, it's a question. Answer it if you like. Right. Can I, 
I'm a bully, I'm a, pres I'm a liar, no. I'm lying. Look, I, I expect you to finish your speech within the time scale, and I expect you to, to, to have some dignity and respect, as, as everybody in this chamber should. And please don't keep naming people, but stick to the actual facts of a lobby register. I'm explaining the power of lobbyists, how they influence the political process, how assembly members like me have been leaned on, leaned on, and attempted to be, to be bullied. I would say by Z class bullies. Alan Davis, you know well, you know very well, you know very well where the gutter is, as you just mentioned, the gutter. No, no, no. I'll reiterate, yeah, Z-class bullies. No, you, you, you tried to be big and tough, but you're not really. No. Anyway, presiding uh, officer, uh, no, deputy no, no, presiding no, officer, thank you. I think I've made my point. I've been interrupted. The people of Wales can see I've been called a liar. I've been told I've been lying. I've been called a bully. Uh, and no. none of this has been, none of this, none of this. You've not intervened any, in any way, shape or form to, to do anything about that disgraceful language. I would say thank you, but I don't think at this moment this chamber deserves a thank you. Can I call on the Deputy Minister and the Chief Whip, Jane Hutt?